In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to show you how to bomb man coverage over the top in Madden NFL 21. It's a really cool concept this year and something that I'm really excited to share with you. But before we dive into that, my name is Cody. And for those of you who have never been on my YouTube channel before, I want to welcome you. And I want to encourage you that if you really want to take your game to the next level in Madden 21, what you want to do is you want to join my Discord. My Discord is kind of the community hub for my channel. It's where lab games are set up. It's where questions are answered. And so if you're really looking to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to jump into my Discord. You can click the link in the description of this video to do that. But we're going to talk about man coverage, and a lot of you are seeing this uh, $326. And basically what I want to do right now is show you. So basically you go into coaching adjustments. You're going to go to man align, ball in air defense, play ball, cornerback matchups by speed, so you don't get beat over the top, or should I say, so you didn't get beat over the top, option defense on aggressive, tackling on aggressive, and or I'm sorry, option defense on uh, conservative. Zone drops are typically on 20 to 25 yards, okay? Um, and so what they're going to basically do is they're going to sub in all of their athletes, right? So if I was the uh, Packers here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, uh, let's see if I can find Hallman. Hallman is going to go on the outside. Jackson and King are going to go right here. And then I'm going to have Savage. Uh, if I can get to them, I'm going to put uh, Redmond and I'm going to put Green at the safeties because they're going to go into zones. And then I'm going to put Savage and I'm going to put Amos down here. And then you're going to put your best pass rushers in and you're going to lock and load. Now, they like to, most people like to do this at a cover one robber press. The play that we're in, we're in the Seattle Seahawks bunch, which is really good bunch this year. And we're going to show you one specific play. So basically, you just want to put your fastest wide receiver on the outside outside guy. So whoever your fastest receiver is, and let's just check the Patriots real quick in the depth chart while we got them up here. But you're going to see that the fastest wide receivers on the Patriots, you've got Mr. Bird. So we want him to be in the game. And then you'll see we've got Jeff Thomas. Uh, we also have Sony Michelle, so we're going to go Jeff Thomas. So we're going to go Bird, Thomas, and Edelman in the middle of the field. Okay, so that's how we're going to set up our shotgun bunch. Now this is bunch. Uh, this is just standard shotgun bunch. Again, this is Seattle playbook, and I am going to put Bird on the right side, but it doesn't really matter. The play we're going to be going over is clear out. Um, if I can find it, where does it go? Clear out, SE out. Clear out, SE out. That's the play we're going to go over. Now, I'm just going to back the ball off here, and we're going to talk about why this route works. Basically, it's a stock fade. It's something you cannot create. Um, it's not a hot routable route. Basically, what you've got to do is it's got to be built into what you have um, to, work, to work with. So, we're going to show you this right now. So, basically, um, again, this is a coverage, and they're going to play over top coverage, and they're going to play outside leverage. Now, what you're going to see is these little stock fades this year. You see Bird is on the stock fade. Thomas is on the stock fade. What I like to do with Bird is I like to just simply motion him out to the right. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here is he is just going to run right over the top. Now, you see there they are able to stop, stop it if they shade over the top of the coverage. However, if they don't do that, let me just show you just standard two man under, right? If they just go to standard two man under and they don't shade coverage over the top, you're going to see these fade routes. If you motion them out, those streaks motion out are going to absolutely crush that press man alignment, whether it's pressed up or not. Getting those fades unbumpable this year is actually really, really critical. So what we know is they're going to have to shade over over top coverage to be able to stop this so what we're going to be able to do then is we're going to be able to set up some hot routes to basically to effectively you know deal with this and all we're going to do is we're going to put julian edelman on a zig so we've got a zig and we've got a streak over the top and what you'll see is this zig especially if you got a good guy on route running he's going to get wide open if they're if they're shaded over the top the order over top coverage what that's going to allow is we're going to be able to take thomas on the left side and we're going to be able to put him on a curl route and now what you've got is you've got these fades in combination with the curl so if he runs with him okay we're just going to low ball the curl so you have a check down on one side of the field you have an over top 
coverage on the other side of the field. And then let's just say they run cover three, right? All we're going to do is curl Thomas. That's literally all we're doing. We're motion bird out. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, this um, curl route is going to be open against cover three defense. Let me show you that again. So whether they go zone, whether they go man, they really can't win with this specific play. So one of the best plays in the entire game, and it's no surprise that Gun Bunch is one of the best passing sets in the entire game again. But this is a very, very simple concept. And again, uh, you can flip this play if you like the matchup a little bit better. Um, if you like the matchup a little bit better on the right side or on the other side, you see I can just simply flip the play. Motion Thomas out, snap of the ball, and you're going to see if I have a, any speed advantage at all, um, I can get over top of him, but you see that over top coverage does hang with him uh, over the top there. So, again, you know, I do have um, I do have a little bit of a speed advantage over here, and you'll see if they're just in their standard press, you see how these routes uh, really do a good job at getting over the top. Whoops, I'm sorry, I messed up on that one. But these little stock fades are so good this year. Um, they're better than they were last year, in my opinion. And you can actually motion them over to the left side, and you'll see this motion fade route really do a good job. And it's one of the better ways to beat band-to-man -band over the top. Again, when you combine it, when you combine it with a simple zig route on that side of the field, the combination is going to do some great things for your man beating, and you are going to be off to a great start. So I hope this video helps you in beating the man coverage meta, especially if they don't shade coverage over the top. It's really an issue this year. So make sure if you are running the man coverage meta that you're shading coverage over top. Anyway, just wanted to get this out to you guys. I hope this video was helpful. There's going to be some other videos that are going to pop up here for how to destroy man-to-man -man coverage with also some other tips and tricks as well that are going to help you get better at Madden NFL 21. We will see you guys in our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. And don't forget, if you really want to take your game to the next level, join our Discord. We'll see you in the next video.